All right, guys, now we're going to do part C of the principle of linear impulse and momentum uh, problems. In this problem, a uh, stop block S right here prevents a uh, crate from sliding down uh, an incline which has uh, an angle of 35 degrees. A tensile force of F0 times T in newtons acts on the crate uh, parallel to the incline trying to pull it up the incline and they give you the value of f so they're basically giving you the function if the coefficients of a friction static and kinetic are given respectively and the crate has a mass of 58.2 kilograms how long will it take for the crate to reach a velocity of 3.14 meters per second as it moves up on the incline Notice that for almost every value that we're given, we have three significant figures. So now we know. Okay, now let's see what, what are we given. I always like to write what we're given first. We're given the angle of the incline, which is 35 degrees. We're also given the force function, which is 330 times t, all I did is I plug in f0 into the function and that's how I get the force function over time and we got the coefficients of friction which is 0.295 for static friction and for kinetic friction that's 0 0.190 the coefficients of friction are unitless and the mass of the crate 58.2 kilograms and the velocity 3.14 this problem is kind of long and tricky so bear with me but the first thing you gotta think okay let's draw the free body diagram I have the original picture so it makes it much easier but you should make a habit of drawing the diagram yourself we got the normal which is uh, perpendicular to the incline we got the force which they already got it for me and we got the weight and just to note this is also this angle data and this is right here since motion is in this direction friction opposes motion uh, let's do FR to differentiate from the other force so we don't get any confusions now the first thing that you need to ask yourself first question is when does this force overcome the friction and the weight because the the uh, crate is not going to start moving right away it's going to need to the force uh, of the string is going to need to pull it enough to overcome the weight and the friction force and how do we go well in other words when is the force equal to the friction plus the W component of the let's do this X and this is the Y the X component of uh, the weight which would be a uh, sign of theta when does the force equ equal to the friction plus the uh, sign now the friction this is coefficient of friction static times the normal if you calculate the normal to calculate the normal the normal would be um, normal would be the weight times the cosine of data right now of space there but you're gonna get that the normal is with my numbers would be 14.1 so friction sorry that's not 14.1 you're gonna get that the normal is uh, 47.7 and if you multiply that 
by the coefficient of static friction which is 0.295 then you're gonna get 14.1 so when does 330 T equal to 14.1 and this comes out to be 327 and that is true when t equals 1.03 seconds this is very important now we're gonna go on the second part of the question which is the principle of linear impulse and momentum so we basically are gonna get that the integral from 1.03 to t of the force which is 330t mm. Notice that the force of the string is not the only force acting on the crate. You got two other forces, which is friction and the weight, which are actually doing um, are going the opposite direction, so they will be negative. That's why this is uh, negative right here. But the force of friction on the kinetic side, because it's from one point of three when the thing is moving and on, which would be. 0 0.190 which is the coefficient of kinetic friction times the normal which is 47.7 minus now what uh, what is the uh, x component of the weight that would be 327 according to my calculations all right now all of that has to be equal to the mass times the velocity the mass is 58.2 and the velocity is 3.14 alright now from all of this if we integrate we're gonna get that this is equal to 160 t square minus 336 t plus c which we don't know from 1.03 to t this is the t we're trying to find out and all of that is equal to 58.2 times 3.14 now we have to work on finding this C. Yeah, pain in the ass, I know. But hey, it's homework. Now, there's something we do know though. Right when it starts moving, V equals zero. Right? And T is equal to 1.03. So we can say that is V is equal to 160 sorry this is a 165 165 t squared minus 336 t plus c if we plug this number into this equation and we solve for c we get that c is equal to negative 171 which is c right here so plugging in this negative 171 and plugging in the, the 1.03 and the t into the integration we're gonna get that 165 t square minus 336 t minus 159 is equal to zero notice that what I did is I plug in this I plug in this uh, negative 171 into here then I plug in the values of the integration then I uh, multiply this and brought it to this side I did all of that in one step so doing the quadratic formula you're gonna get that t is equal to 1.29 
Now, all you need to do is add this t to this t to get the actual t, which is actual time, which would be 2.32 seconds. 2, of course, three significant figures and all of our values are given in uh, three significant figures.